Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about hemorrhages. I'm going to do my best to explain it to you as best as I can in, in only 5 minutes so uh, let's begin. Uh, we have the definition here which is the escape of blood from a blood vessel. That's all a hemorrhage really means so the leaving of blood from a vessel. So imagine if you even cut yourself on your finger that can also be considered a hemorrhage because blood has initially left. Uh, the blood vessel and is leaked out so that's all the hemorrhage is you can have internal hemorrhages or external so the external one would be when you cut yourself on your finger and blood leaks out or internally it can leak into some cavities some serous cavities and an example can be hemothorax hemoperitoneum and hemopericardium so those are some examples of a uh, he hemorrhage so uh, we have a few different types of hemorrhages and uh, I'm going to talk about them, but first what you need to know there is something called a hematoma, which is where we have um, blood which leaves a vessel, I don't know, it might be injured or something, so blood's left and it goes into the tissues and then it causes a swelling, that's called a hematoma. One type of hemorrhage is called ecchymosis, which is a large um, extravasion of blood into the skin and mucous membranes, it's about one to two centimeters, that's called an ecchymosis. We have a smaller one called purpuras, which are small areas of hemorrhages into the skin and mucous membranes. They're a little bit smaller. They're three to five millimeters. And we have petechiae, which are pinhead sized hemorrhages, and they're only one to two millimeters. The actual um, escape of blood vessels, sorry, blood cells, red blood cells into loose tissues is actually called diapedesis. So that's the microscopic escape of erythrocytes into loose tissues. Now, uh, this form of blood loss can either be large or sudden or small repeated amounts over a longer period of time. So obviously if it's large and sudden then it would be an acute hemorrhage. If it's small amounts over a period of time then it's known as chronic. So it has to be a longer period of time. So causes um, of a hemorrhage. Let's look into that. So uh, one cause of a hemorrhage can be trauma to the vessel wall. So for example some kind of penetrating wound so that could be in the heart or a big vessel so that can be one cause of a hemorrhage you can have a spontaneous hemorrhage so you have a rupture of an aneurysm which i'm going to be making a video a video about um, you can have acute anemia which causes hemorrhages scurvy or septicemia inflammatory lesions of a vessel wall can be another cause of a hemorrhage so bleeding from a chronic peptic ulcer or polyarteritis nodosa um, another cause of a hemorrhage can be neoplastic invasion, so an example is the vascular invasion in carcinoma of the tongue, so some form of carcinoma causes the hemorrhage via its invasion. Um, vascular diseases like atherosclerosis can cause hemorrhages and also elevated pressures within the vessels, so this can be an example of retinal hemorrhages in systemic hypertension. So the effects of having a hemorrhage, it depends on the amount of blood loss, the speed of blood loss and the site of hemorrhage. So an example can be a loss of 20% of blood volume will have a little clinical effect because the body has quite a few compensatory mechanisms to make up for that 20% loss. But a sudden loss of 33% blood volume can potentially cause death just because of how acute the loss is and there may not be enough time for the body to compensate for that amount of loss. But at the same time, you can also see that a 50% of a 50% loss of blood volume over a longer period of time, let's say 24 hours, may not exactly be fatal. So you can see the effects of a hemorrhage really does depend on whether it's acute or whether it's over a longer period of time. So, so an example here is the fact that 33% may just cause death straight away if it's sudden, but 50% over a longer period of time won't be as fatal. So chronic blood loss generally produces some form of iron deficiency anemia. Um, acute hemorrhages may lead to immediate consequences like hypovolemic shock, which I've made a video about, and I'll include that in the description below.